To replace an aging bridge on North Druid Hills Road is adding to congestion on nearby streets. Today will bring the second morning rush hour for drivers who have to detour around this work between I-85 and Beaufort Highway. 11 Alive's Jerry Carnes has been following this story, giving you lots of heads up about this. He's live on North Druid Hills Road this morning. Jerry, it seems that one particular road seems to be taking a lot of the pressure. That's right, Christy. Good morning. And we are actually on that road, West Druid Hills Drive here, a very narrow road that was not built to handle heavy congestion. As the sign back behind me here indicates, this is not supposed to be used as a detour around the bridge work right around the corner. Despite that, GPS apps were taking, taking drivers right down this road until we reached out to GDOT to tell them what we were seeing here. An otherwise routine morning commute brings hundreds of drivers to an impasse. On North Druid Hills Road, the bridge over North Fort Peachtree Creek is coming apart. For the next three months, traveling between I-85 and Beaufort Highway will mean a massive break from the routine. It's thrown me completely off. I've got to be to work, and it's just... I have no idea how to get there. She is one of many drivers who veer into a sea of brake lights on West Druid Hills Drive. For her, it's a game of follow the leader. All the other traffic is going the same way, so I'm doing the same. The signs here were not enough to convince hundreds of drivers that this is not a detour around work to replace the nearby bridge. West Druid Hills Drive is a narrow two-lane road lined with office buildings. While it may seem like a logical detour, it is a private road, something GPS apps like Waze and Google Maps didn't know during Monday morning's commute, leading to a parade of wayward drivers. It's why GDOT is asking commuters to stick with their recommended detour using I-85, Claremont Road, and Beaufort Highway. It's usually the larger roads can carry more capacity uh, and they're our roads. We notified the Department of Transportation about the added traffic on West Druid Hills Drive. GDOT reached out to both Waze and Google Maps, and within hours, the GPS apps were no longer directing traffic down this private road. All that's left is to convince the long line of people who spent Monday's rush hour ignoring the signs, telling them that West Druid Hills Drive is not a viable detour. And this morning we've seen several drivers like this one right here using West Druid Hills Drive to detour around the bridge work right around the corner from us. GDOT says if that continues, they'll notify law enforcement to help direct drivers in another direction. Live in Brookhaven, Jerry Carnes, 11 Alive News. Yeah, keep using that 85 Buford Highway all the way around. I know it's going to be a little bit of a headache for you for a while, but it'll be much better once it gets all completed.